In 1994, a 44-year-old woman with normal kidney function took a supplement that caused her complete kidney failure. A biopsy of her kidneys revealed what nobody had ever seen before. A supplement she was taking without getting informed literally destroyed her kidneys. Catherine here, I've been working with people suffering from kidney disease for almost 10 years now and I've seen my fair share of patients who got their kidneys damaged by taking the wrong supplement. Big brands will never tell you that what they are selling may be harmful for you even when it is. This is why some doctors on the other hand will tell you to just avoid everything and take no supplements at all. I'm not on the same page. If you follow me here regularly, you may already know that supplementing certain molecules is not just good for you, it can be actually needed to maintain kidney function. This is why I firmly believe that knowledge is power. Get informed, learn what is good for you and what can cause damage. Today we will see what the 8 most dangerous supplements for kidney health are so you can make sure you are not taking any of them. Starting with number 8. Sport drinks such as Powerade, Gatorade, Pedialyte sport drinks contain electrolytes. I worry about what plants crave. Brando's got what plants crave. Yeah, it's got electrolytes. What are electrolytes? Do you even know? Yeah, but what are electrolytes? They are not just what plants crave. Electrolytes are mostly potassium, sodium, and sugar. Yes, sport drinks are often meant to replace potassium people lose during exercise. And while athletes may need large amounts of potassium, sodium, and sugar, someone with kidney disease or diabetes should completely avoid sport or energy drinks. Or even worse, here's an herbal supplement that's linked to kidney damage. Never take Number 7. Yohimbe is a popular dietary supplement. It is commonly used to treat ED in men and it is also a growing trend in the world of fat loss. It comes with a danger for the kidneys though. Some Yohimbe supplements have been found to be mislabeled and to cause serious side effects including gastrointestinal distress, increased heart rate, anxiety and high blood pressure. Yohimbe supplements have also been linked to kidney failure in at least one case. Today, these supplements are banned in many countries including Australia, Canada and the United Kingdom. Be careful! Number 6 is even more dangerous because this is a very common sports supplement that can damage the kidneys of someone with CKD. Never take Number 6. Whey protein or any kind of protein powder. Marketed toward athletes, these protein supplements can be really bad for your kidneys. If you have CKD or decreased kidney function, the less protein you eat, the better. Actually, almost completely removing protein from the diet is a way to improve kidney function. More about this in my video up here. Our number 5 is a pretty controversial entry. It can be either very good or very bad for you depending on your kidney function. Be very careful with Number 5. Multivitamins Products such as Centrum, Smart Pants, Thorn and more are widely used by almost everyone everywhere in the world. If you have kidney disease, however, especially in the advanced stages, you should completely avoid standard multivitamins not made for those with kidney problems. Taking vitamins such as vitamin K, vitamin E, and especially vitamin A in the concentrations you can find in one of those multivitamins may be very dangerous for people with kidney disease. And the worst part is that many people don't realize they are harming themselves by taking vitamin, since these are almost always considered safe. Also because certain vitamins, on the other hand, are not just safe for you. They can even help slow down kidney disease. If you want to know more about what vitamins you should actually supplement, watch my video up here. What's even more dangerous than standard multivitamins? Here's a supplement that can directly increase your creatinine levels. Never take Number 4. Creatine Creatine is one of the most used supplements in the world. Athletes and gym guards use it to improve exercise performance. 
but if its name sounds like that of creatinine there is a reason creatinine is actually a waste product of the metabolism of creatine what this means is that taking creatine may actually alter your creatinine readings making them look higher than what they actually are and if this is not enough to avoid this supplement creatine has also been linked to at least two documented cases of kidney damage number three is a very dangerous one this is something you can find on supermarket shelves it's also supposed to be good for you but it may actually cause life-threatening symptoms if taken by someone with kidney disease number three salt substitutes okay guys this is another very dangerous item you can actually find on the supermarket shelves while it may seem a good thing to replace table salt with a salt with little to no sodium such as mordon new salt no salt and so on don't do it what they use to replace sodium in this is potassium potassium chloride tastes somewhat like regular table salt and all these salt substitutes are basically potassium if you have kidney problems taking all that potassium all at once can even cause hyperkalemia a dangerous sometimes life-threatening condition even worse, our number two is a supplement that completely destroyed the kidneys of someone whose kidneys were in perfect conditions. This is a documented case study. A 44-year-old woman progressed from normal renal function to advanced renal failure and end-stage renal disease in just eight months. She needed a transplant after that. Her kidneys never recovered. According to the documentation, five months before the start of the symptoms, the woman took herbal medicine for pain relief. Then her kidneys failed in a very short amount of time. After transplantation, the patient expressed concern that the herbal medicine might have caused the renal failure. Samples of the original herbal therapies were sent to Belgium for analysis. What they found was the presence of aristolachic acid in two of the six herbs she ingested. Yes, our number two is herbal remedies not properly manufactured. Aristolachic acid are a family of carcinogenic, mutagenic, and nephrotoxic phytochemicals commonly found in the flowering plant family, Aristolachae. It happens that manufacturers of certain supplements make mistakes and herbs that are toxic for the kidneys get mixed with the herbs the supplement should contain. Now, this doesn't mean that all the herbs you may find are nephrotoxic or dangerous, but you have to be very careful with the source of what you may take. Only buy from reputable brands and make sure that what you are taking has the GMP and USDA badges on them. There is one thing that's even worse than herbal remedies not properly manufactured, not because it makes more damage, but because it is way more common for people to use this one. Number one most dangerous is NSAIDs. Never take NSAIDs regularly if you care about your kidneys. Guys, there are alternative ways to treat chronic forms of pain if you have kidney disease. And I've shared with you the fastest ways to reduce pain in my video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.